So what does it mean for the people of York that Archway is set to close? Well, we've really heard this evening at this meeting we've had here at Friends Meeting House that it's going to have a real impact on people's long-term um, outcomes of their health. So being able to be discharged home too soon could mean that people end up back in the service. And there is no replacement. It's not an either-or transitional care versus domiciliary care. It's about choosing the right pathway for each individual. And with losing archways, which contributes so much to people across the city, will be seriously detrimental. And we've heard that universally from staff, from service users, and also members of the public. And does it set a precedent then for other units in the area to close as well? Well, other units could follow suit, obviously. Um, I'm sure that the Trust will be looking at the outcomes of this. But the big question is, is why they haven't consulted ahead of making this decision, consulted with staff, consulted with people working across the sector, and consulted with service users. We believe that the, that is a breach of the Health and Social Care Act and their responsibilities, but also it's a breach of public trust. And how are you feeling about the outcome of this meeting? Well, the meeting was unanimous in its support for Archway's real passion, but real understanding about the importance it plays within the whole health system in York. And we cannot just let this decision pass without fighting to stop the closure. It became so evident this evening that Archway's is vital for ensuring that patients are safe, that they have the confidence on discharge, and also that they can gain independence in the long term. It's good for patients, but it's also good for the finances of the hospital and that is the real reason we believe that Archways is being closed. And finally, what next then? Well, tonight we've had so many powerful contributions we'll be putting that to all the key decision makers, feeding that back obviously to the Trust, at the, the um, CCG, but also the, the bodies which will be scrutinising this decision to make sure that people's voices are heard and that sensible decisions are now made about the future of healthcare.